Hello and welcome to the ProFace Connect video tutorial series. The topic of this video will be configuring managers. And in this video, we will discuss the three different managers and we will demonstrate configuring the three different managers. That is the gate manager, site manager, and link manager and link manager mobile. And then we will transfer a GP Pro EX project via the ProFace Connect connection. And we will view an HMI screen using remote HMI via the ProFace Connect connection. First, give a little more detail about the three different managers. Hopefully make it a little more clear on which manager is responsible for what function. We first have the gate manager, and this is the cloud server for ProFace Connect. This is where you log in and manage your remote installations, HMIs, or industrial PCs, allocate any of your purchase licenses to the devices and create additional user profiles. And the gate manager uses a secure login that requires a security certificate and password. Then we have the site manager. And this is the embedded component that is installed or loaded onto an HMI or industrial PC. And it allows remote access to that device. And it can be installed on an HMI via a simple upgrade through GP Pro EX. All you would do is upgrade your application to the latest version of EX and then download the application to the HMI. That is all. No additional setup required in the software. And then we have the link manager. And this is a software component that is installed on a PC or laptop at a remote location. And it uses a secure login as well that requires a security certificate and password. However, the certificate and password for the link manager is different than the ones required for the gate manager. So when you're talking about these three different managers, a simple way to remember what their functionality is for the gate manager, think administration, for the site manager, think service, and for the link manager, think operation. So now we're ready to connect to the gate manager. I'm back in my inbox. I'm going to click on my gate manager email and I am going to first copy my certificate password and then click on the link for the gate manager login. And as you see here, the certificate has already been loaded. That's because I previously logged in and when I did, I checked the box for remember certificate. If you do not see something here, if you see something like this, you would just click on choose the file, browse to the certificate, and then enter in your password. So I'm gonna paste my password and click login. And now I'm into the gate manager. I went over a description of how the gate manager is laid out in the introductory video. So first what we're going to do is we are going to use the startup wizard to configure a device. So I'm going to click on next. And the first thing you see is information for link manager license error account. I'm going to click skip and it goes to the link manager mobile. I will skip that as well. And then finally the site manager embedded license and device. It gives a brief description of what this is. And then it gives you a link that you can use to download the site manager embedded executable to install on the platform. And then you also have below here a site manager address and a domain token. And these two pieces of information are important for when you connect from the device, be it an industrial PC in our example, using the site manager to connect back to your gate manager. So now I'm going to switch over to the industrial PC and we are going to look at downloading, installing, and configuring the site manager. So on my industrial PC, I have a web browser open and I'm going to type in the URL. I recommend that if you're gonna do this, you first log into the gate manager on the industrial PC to copy the information off. So I'll start with HTTP colon slash slash, then FTP, and you see that it shows up here. So I'm gonna click on it. And then it brings me to the ProFace Connect download page. Uh, this is hosted in ProFace Europe. 
And that is because the ProFace Connect product is a global product. It's not exclusive to the United States or Europe. So the resources for this product are going to be stored in other locations besides the ProFace America servers. So once on this page, I scroll down to software and you'll see five links. The top two are the link manager installers for Windows, be it 32-bit or 64-bit. Then there is an update module for the open box for the SP5000. And then the fourth link is the SP5000 open box and the PS5000 series installer for the ProFace Connect site manager. This is what we want. So I'm going to click on that to download. And it takes us to our box location. I'm going to click download. And I'm going to save it. Once it's done, I'm going to open the folder and then I will extract this to my desktop just to make it easier to locate. Okay, once it's done extracting, I'm going to close the Internet Explorer window. And then open up my extracted files and I'm going to run the executable. And then I'm going to install and there isn't really any configuration that needs to be done with this. Just a couple of clicks. The only thing you could change is the destination folder, which I am not. And I will run the installer. And then at the end, there's a checkbox for allowing the site manager to run the configuration and start the service. I'm going to leave that checked and click finish. And then what it does is it comes up with the site manager embedded. Now this looks like a web page, but if you look up at the top, the URL is the home address, which is 127.0.0.1 and then a port number. This brings up a user interface on the web browser to configure connections for the gate manager. And as you see for us, there is no gate manager configured. So I will click on fix. And in the setup assistant for the gate manager settings, we have a couple of different fields here that need to be configured. The only two mandatory are the gate manager address and the domain token. Uh, up at the top are two drop downs for remote management, whether we want it to be enabled or disabled or to allow a heartbeat only or relays in heartbeat only. For this, we'll leave it at enabled. And for go to appliances, which we will look at in another video, you have the option to disable them, have an automatic login or an automatic login, but not for a link manager. But for now, I'm simply going to add in my gate manager address, which is the IP address. and then the domain token. And both of these pieces of information can be found in the startup wizard, uh, in the gate manager, or in your gate manager email. And then I can give it an optional appliance name, which I will, which will be PS5000 SME for Site Manager Embedded. And below that are fields for if you need to configure a web proxy and if you want to use a local site manager address. We're going to leave these blank for now because we don't need to configure that for this basic connection. And then I will click Save and it refreshes and saves it. So I'll click on now at the top, the continue setup. So when I come back into the setup assistant, after entering in the gate manager information, I see that I have an IP address here for the gate manager, but I have a message that says it's not attached in the domain of profaceusa.profaceamerica. At the top, there is a message in yellow that says no site manager embedded license. What that means is that I'm able to connect to the gate manager, but a license has not been given or authorized for this device. 
So I have to go into my gate manager now and finalize the configuration. So I'll first open up a new tab in my web browser and I will go to my uh, email. So once I'm into my email, I'll go into my gate manager and first download my certificate. And then copy my password and then open the URL for the gate manager. I will browse for my certificate, which is in my downloads and then paste in my password. Now that I'm in, you see at the very bottom, I see my new PS5000 that I entered in here. Although, however, there's a little exclamation point next to it. So once I click on it, under the appliance tab here, we see that we have a message. It says appliances must be attached to a domain to enable remote access. So what I have to do is bind a license and attach here. So I have to first select the license. So I'm going to select my one of my extended site manager licenses and then click this button. And then it'll ask me to confirm that this is what I want to do. I click yes. And if I look now, I see a license has been loaded here. And now if I come into my site manager extended, I have zero free of one, meaning I've used my one extended license on the PS5000. So now if I come back to the site manager page and I refresh, I now see that I have a good message. It's connected to the gate manager IP on this port and connected via LAN. If it was wireless, it would say Wi-Fi. Now we're not going to go into how to configure device agents, but I'll briefly touch on what they are. So if I click on edit, in here we see a list of possible agents we can use. Right now, I only have one configured and that is by default. It's configured for full access. Uh, and you see a message at the top that says it's using one of five extended agents, meaning I can add in four more extended agents I could use here. And we'll get into adding and configuring the different agents later. So I'm gonna go back to the continue setup. And then the last thing on the site manager setup assistant is a chat or scratch pad. If I click edit, it comes up with a little chat window. This is not nearly as robust as other IM programs. For example, if I put in a message that says hello, and I can put in my initials here, and then when I click send, it pastes it here. However, on the gate manager, I have no notification that there is a message waiting. I first have to go into chat, and then I see it here. So now we have a device set up using the site manager through the gate manager. And we see here that we have an option for full access. And once again, we can configure different pieces of information or view different things like a usage or audit statistics. And in the appliance, we can see the same things. So it's either by your action here, which for example is the full access that we have configured under device agents. So we can see it by the device agent or by the device itself. Then we have the options for pinging. So for example, when I ping, it says time, it took 33.7 milliseconds to ping that device. We see our source IP, when it was created, a serial number, the product, all the information for the license and the product that's been configured in the site manager embedded. So now that we have the gate manager and the site manager configured, we can now configure a link manager and connect remotely to our device. So on the gate manager webpage, I will click next in the startup wizard to get me to the link manager license and account information. And what this basically says is that it's a floating license that I can configure either a new user or use my existing administrative account 
for the link manager. I am going to create a new account for this link manager. And I have two options to do that. I can either check the box here that says I want to create an account for another person and click next, or in the tree list, I can right click on my domain, which is the folder icon at the very top and select create account. And then I have to give it an account name, which I will just say is PFA link. And the only other pieces of information we need to enter in are an email, and a password. And you notice I entered a password in that it shows as too weak. So I'll enter in a stronger one. And then save. When I go to save it, it asks if I want to send a new certificate to the email address I entered in. We'll also mention if I've used a weak password or if I need to use a stronger one. I'll click yes. And now my new user is configured and added in under my domain. So if I go back to my inbox, I see a new email from the gate manager that is for the link manager certificate. And this message not only includes the certificate, but also the URL to download the link manager and instructions on how to install the user certificate. It also provides the gate manager address and domain token because you will need that in order to configure the link manager. So the first thing I will do is download the link certificate. Then I'll click on the URL to download the link manager software. And it brings me back to the ProFace Europe webpage for downloads. And I will click on the link manager installer for Windows PC. In my case, I'm using 64-bit. So I'll click on that. It'll bring me to the box location and I will click download. Once the download is completed, I will open my downloads folder and I will extract the zip file I downloaded. And then I will run the installer. And similar to the site manager, there isn't very much configuration that has to be done for this. During the installation, it will come up and ask if you want to install new device software. Just, uh, you have to click through yes for these. There are about four or five of them that will come up. And at the end, it'll ask if you want to start the link manager now. I will leave that checked and then click finish. So now once the link manager service has started, the web page will come up and it will ask me to install the user certificate. So I'll click on choose file. I will navigate to my downloads and select my link manager file. And if you store these certificates in the same location, there's an easy way to remember which one is for which. A gate manager certificate will have a file extension of GMC, GMC for gate manager certificate. Link Manager Certificate will have a file extension of .lmc for Link Manager Certificate. I'll select my proper certificate, click Open, then I have to enter in the password. And this is the password that I entered in on my Gate Manager. As you notice in my email, there is no password that I received in this message. It is the password that I configured there. So it sends you all the information with the exception of the password for that certificate. So I'll go back to my console and I will enter in the password. Select install. 
And now it looks like at first glance that it failed, but it did not. What it's asking for is it's now asking for you to log in. You've now added the certificate and given the proper password, and now I need to log in. So now I'll enter the password in again and click login. And now it's fetching the data from the gate manager. Now I've come up and you see here, it says PFA link, which is the user with this computer name. And it shows my PS5000. If I go back to my gate manager, and now when I refresh, it shows that I'm logged in from this PC. So now here I have what shows as full access to this unit. So now with the link manager properly set up, I've added the certificate, I've logged in, I'm in the console. If I come down to my taskbar, you will see that there is a new icon and then this is the link manager icon. I can right click and I can come into my options. I can see the status or go to the console. So if I, for example, click on options, it gives me an option. None of it is enabled or configurable because I don't have any agents configured that would use this. But, but if I come back down to it, I can look at the status as well. It shows that it's running, device name, the product name, the firmware version, IP address, the gate manager information as well. It also gives me my license information. So now I am connected to the gate manager through the link manager. And in essence, now I have a point to point connection to the PS5000. So now with the three managers, the gate manager, site manager, and link manager all configured, I am now able to connect to the industrial PC and transfer a GP Pro EX project. So what I will do now in GP Pro EX, I'll go to transfer project. And I will make sure my transfer settings are set for LAN. And then I will click on send project. You see that it comes up with the IP address. You see the IP address here, is the same one as here for the full access. So I will select that IP and begin transferring the application. So now the transfer is complete. I was able to successfully transfer to a remote HMI in another location. So now we have seen, once we connect via the link manager, how we can transfer an application to or from the HMI. Now we are going to look at using remote HMI to connect and view the HMI screens. So I'll fire up my remote HMI app for Windows. And I'll enter the password for the application. Then you see there's only one device in my list. This is the one that I pre-configured. And as you see, I'm using the IP address that is the same as the IP address of the PS5000 locally, not remotely, because the Proface Connect product creates a point-to-point -point VPN connection between this PC running the link manager and the device, be it the HMI or industrial PC running the site manager. So I will click on the unit to bring it up and ask for the password. So now I'll enter in the password for the project. And now I see my screens and I'm able to, once I enable touch, able to change screens.
Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact ProFace America Technical Support by phone at 1 800 289 9266, option 2, or by email support at profaceamerica.com. You can also visit our website, profaceamerica.com, for manuals, drivers, product FAQs, and other product and software information. Thanks again, and have a great day.